Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and uh, we're going to go over uh, metabolic pathways. I have my iPad, and this is a projection on the wall, and I'll be able to zoom in and out, and you can we'll go through this, and you'll be able to see it. So this poster um, I found in the 90s, and it was created by a guy named Dr. Nicholson. Uh, he died a few years ago at the age of 96. This was his life's work. It's over 500 metabolic pathways that occur in the body, and this is maintained by a company called Sigma, life science and when you go through you can pick on you can click on the electronic version you can click on something like this or this and a web page will come up and then you can buy the product so that's why they they maintain this okay so props to dr nicholson for making this in the first place and he always uh um gave credit to his uh cohorts he was from great britain and he hung out with really smart people <laughs> Okay, so the backbone, the backbone of this is right in the center. Half of it is pink, half is yellow. And then we're going to talk about this uh, part right here. So in the 90s when I saw this, I thought, you know, if I could figure this out, I'll know the body and I'll understand how the body works. And it's true. It's a, that's a totally true statement. So we have fructose, sucrose, and glucose here. And they go through this pathway. And it's kind of faded. Uh, it's a faded pink. Um, and that's called glycolysis. So you can go, you can see various um, sub-products, if you will, and the sugar becomes pyruvate right there, and pyruvate production uh, creates waste. And there's four waste products I'm going to talk about. The first one is acetate, that's nail polish, you don't want that in your blood. Ethanol, that's alcohol, and that's, you know what that does, it's bad for the body, it's for the liver. Acetaldehyde, that's uh, the hangover feeling. And that's a poison. And the last one I want to talk about is lactate. 75% uh, of lactate goes back into energy as pyruvate, but 25% stays in the blood. And it dilates arteries. Acetate also dilates arteries. And that causes lactic acidosis, which is the dilation of arteries and slowing down of circulation. And therefore, at the capillary beds, you get capillary engorgement and then stagnation of toxic, hypoxic blood and cell death. And that is... Um, chronic disease in this country, caused, it's caused by uh, B vitamin deficiency and other nutrient deficiencies at the liver. So how do you get those B vitamin deficiencies? You eat a bad, bad diet. And then you get a lot of uh, sugar burning and waste products. So the opposite of sugar burning and death and chronic disease is burning fat. So that's this bar right here. And, um, and the whole point is we want to get to acetyl-CoA. That's the money. That's the beginning of energy production. If you get it from pyruvate, from burning sugar, you get those waste products. And then pyruvate um, transfers into the mitochondria. That's the yellow the mitochondria here. And then pyruvate becomes acetyl-CoA. Whereas when you look at blood, uh, fat, you have a lot of um, biochemical path, uh, pathways where we get lipid degradation, the breakdown of fats and they become acetyl-CoA. There's four arrows going this way, and all those fats become acetyl-CoA. Now I want to pull out um, ketone bodies, and this is very important to know. Ketones are um, easy fats to, to digest. The body loves to use ketone bodies. So we have acetone, 3-hydroxybutyrate, and acetoacetate. And you can see that there's a curvy arrow. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. This curvy arrow makes those ketone bodies become acetoacetyl-CoA. And then there's one more step, and then you get acetyl-CoA. So it's a two-step process to go from ketone bodies to the money. And there's no waste products. And that's what, that's what makes fat burning awesome compared to sugar burning. And then about four or six weeks ago, there was an article posted by the Journal of the American Medical Association saying that the sugar industry, that's these guys, have spent millions and billions of dollars since the 1960s to make you think that cholesterol is bad and uh, fat is bad and saturated fat is bad. That is crony. That is cronyism uh, to the highest degree. And we spent so much money on research studies and government-funded research to show us that cholesterol is bad. Well, it's not. It's never been bad. And saturated fat has never been bad unless it's man-made like margarine or Crisco. Natural fats are not bad. So the point here is that the physiology tells us that sugar burning is bad because you get these waste products. 
and you get uh, lactic acidosis and you get fat deposition because you have an increase in insulin and insulin is a very dangerous hormone but when you're burning fat there's no waste products there's no waste products anywhere in this metabolic pathways chart from burning fat so the science shows us that the marketers are wrong and the, a lot of the research is wrong and the dietitians are saying the wrong thing and the, when the medical doctors say eat a low fat diet they're wrong because because the the science shows the the physiology shows us all right so now let's get back to this acetyl coa we've made it and whether you make it from sugar or fat acetyl coa goes through all these processes i'm scrolling down all these processes i'm scrolling down and you get production of atp and uh Here's the eight, I'm trying to scroll the wall. I gotta get back to my iPad and scroll the iPad. So here's um, this uh, man running. That's energy right there. And it's going through this little mechanism right here that makes ATP. And you can see this blue arrow like this. ATP comes off of this. And then it leaves the mitochondria. It passes through these two membranes. And now it's in the cytoplasm of the cell that's inside the cell. And it becomes um, ADP. So it's broken down. And through a reaction, okay, ADP is um, two phosphates, adenosine diphosphate. ATP is adenosine triphosphate. So what's a phosphate? This is what matters. Uh, the phosphate is energy. It's light. So the word phos actually means light from within, P-H-O-S. And the word pho uh, means light. So pho is light, phosphorus, or phos is light from within. It's, it's related to ferro. In other words, like that. So the body is using phosphorus as light. And if you have phosphorus in your hand, like red phosphorus or white phosphorus, in the presence of oxygen, it glows or it burns. So when the ATP dumps a phosphate, it also dumps an oxygen. And it glows. And then the body, the cells are using that energy. So the amount of ATP your body makes per day is equal to the, your weight. So your body is always making ATP it gets broken down to ADP, and then it goes through this reaction right here, this mechanism. ADP is coming in, and then, it, then you get ATP out. And all of this, all of this is to create that energy right there down at the bottom. It's pretty fascinating. So now, the question is, this is the point of the video. Are you going to be burning sugar? for all your life or do you are you going to burn ba burn fat sometimes so there's people who burn sugar all their life and then now they're 65 and now they have cancer and yeah there's toxins in the environment and stuff like that but sugar is a rare and unique fuel when you look at our ancestors they only had sugar or they only burned sugar um during the late summer early fall when fruit was ripe or they burn sugar when they're running away from a saber-toothed tiger or a bear that's going to eat them. Your body's going to be burning sugar. Otherwise, it should be burning fat. And um, so since it's such a rare and unique um, time to be burning sugar, it takes rare and unique DNA to make that happen. It just so happens that that DNA is the same DNA that causes heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. So burning sugar creates cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Burning fat turns off those genes. That's what our ancestors did. That's why our ancestors from 500 years ago, even 200 years ago, and 2,000 years ago, they didn't have cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Unless you look at the ancient Egyptians, they had bread. There were bakeries all around those pyramids. And you, you look at those... Um, the graves, they were overweight, they had um, osteoporosis, they had heart disease, they had arthritis. They had all the diseases of our modern culture because they ate bread. Now, they ate the most organic bread ever produced, probably. But the point is, you could, the organic bread that they were eating was still sugar. It still burns with sugar. And protein burns like sugar, too. So you want to be burning fat. And that's called ketosis. So ketosis is something that um, you want to get into sometimes. Now, if you're an endurance athlete, you should be in ketosis 10 or more hours a day, easily, a professional endurance athlete. 
But if you're, um, you just want to be healthy, get into ketosis at least um, four to seven days a year. That's all it takes. So if you did a seven day fast and you get into ketosis the last three and a half days, four days of seven days, that'd be good. Um, if you get into ketosis one day a month or one day a quarter, that's good. You're turning off all that bad, that bad DNA. If you go on a cruise for a week and you're eating horribly for a week, get, when you get home, get into ketosis like for three days to repair the damage that you caused when you're on that cruise. Um, if you have heart disease or cancer, you need, to be in, you need to be in ketosis every single day to reverse all that, get rid of the inflammation, Get rid of the placking out of your arteries. Um, turn off the, uh, the uh, I don't want to get into cancer too much, but it's lactic acid fermentation. You want to turn that off um, by getting into ketosis. So um, that's, now you know how the body functions in this poster, this metabolic pathways poster. It only took me, oh, 25 years to figure this out, but it took a lot of research and went to a lot of seminars and Finally, in the last few years, there, there's really good research on ketosis and fat burning, and it's all spelled out in this uh, poster.